Hello, hello, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's me, Toby, from Morningwood. If you've watched the last video, Lotus has sponsored me their new table saw, the LTST254 Pro, which does not come with a stand. So that's why in this video, we're going to make our own stand for the table saw. So now I'm just jointing the wood, not really for uh, making a glue joint, but just for making it straight. I ditched my jointing jig because the wood planks were not wide enough for the base of the jointing jig. So I'm using the 4 foot level as a straight reference to straighten up my wood. If you are ever going to attempt this, always be very careful since this is not the safest option to straighten your wood. But it will do the job. So there, don't forget to clean your table saw every after use. Now I'm going to cut them to length using my crosscut sled and a stop block. So this, the stop block, lets you cut your wood at uniform lengths. It will eliminate any irregularity and of course it will make it as much as possible straight. Now I'm going to cut them to the final size I need. I'm just using my leftover wood, my cut off, so if you have any spare wood, this is the best project to do. Stands, jigs, whatever. That's why you don't throw your scrap wood. So now for the top of the platform, I'm going to use plywood, marine plywood. I chose marine over regular plywood since my shop is a bit outdoors and it can be humid, it can rain. So just to avoid any troubles with moisture, I use marine plywood. Since marine plywood is more durable against water, moisture, over the regular plywood and plyboard. Now here I made a mistake, I don't know why, I don't know how, but I measured it a lot of times. Anyway, you're gonna see my mistake later. Now that I've cut up all the pieces I need, I'm going to start assembling them. Of course, using Lotus's brushless and cordless drill. By the way, I'm going to put all the tools and stuff I used in this video down in the description below. Now I'm drilling pilot holes. Pilot holes are there so that you could drill in your screws much easier and also without risking breaking the wood. If you have experienced splitting or breaking wood while drilling, it's because that you do didn't have a pilot hole. So for normal black screws, you use a 3mm drill bit. And of course, I'm using Pioneer wood glue so that everything will stay together. So here is a pro tip. Use a spacer when installing stuff. This is a cut off from the wood I'm using, so it's the same thickness. So that means I can use it to reference the exact size of what I'm installing. Since I used the spacers both sides, left and right, it's at 4 inches equally. And of course, you should use a plank to hold a plank, a clamp, you should use a clamp to hold it in place. So now that the two legs are done, we are going to install another apron or runner or support, whatever you call it, to connect the two legs together, which makes for a stronger frame. So same thing, glue, spacer, drill, pilot hole, all those stuff. Good morning, it's the next day and this is our frame for the table for our table saw. And as you can see, I've already cut some plywood and uh, I made a little miscalculation on my part. I think uh, it is short by an inch. Sad. But I'm still gonna use this piece of plywood until it wears out. 
and then I'll change it uh, and then get the actual size of this yeah so to not waste the plywood it won't be an issue if it doesn't re reach this because there are so many uh, contact points and where I can screw so not a big issue and then I'm thinking of covering up the legs with this I'm, I'm gonna cut up I'm gonna cut up strips of pine wood to cover up to cover up these screws and uh, to make for beautiful legs so let's see this frame build is so simple anyone can do it it's just screws all the wood is at one size different lengths I'm just using pine wood and actually I didn't even put wheels casters you should put wheels casters now that I'm using it uh, it's hard carrying it around other than that this is such a super easy build it can practice your woodworking skills getting used to the tools and it adds to the overall DIY woodworking stuff that you made your own stand so at this point your stand is basically done I'm just trying to cover up the ugly stuff of the old pine wood and the screws. You don't have to do this, but yeah, I, I, I want to do this. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'm just finishing things up. Do like, subscribe, share this video, do all those beautiful stuff, leave a comment, and see you in the next one. Bye!